we'd just come back from a trip to Cambodia. And I actually went on the trip, Justine was there. We had just got married. Um, so we were dating, background, dating, got married, running thank you, wild. And, um, and we, we go honeymoon and then we went to Cambodia afterwards. I remember flying over thinking like, we have failed. We're three years in, we'd helped some communities, but it just didn't, it felt like failure. I'm kind of into numbers and we hadn't hit them. We meet this family and this one mum, she tours like her community. She talks through a translator, explains what water, dirty water did for their family. Like, and it, it was so shocking. I mean, we knew it, but to hear it firsthand. And she talked about having clean water and she said, thank you. And I remember that trip thinking, gosh, if, we, if, if everything we went through for three years was for that, in this moment, it feels enough. And that flight home, it was like, the best way I could describe the feeling is like, we want to go back to Australia and we want to scale this idea up. But I would almost phrase it in that moment, burn the house down. Like we, like, yeah, everyone said no. And everyone says we don't have the money. No, like we are going and we come back and we launch a video on YouTube and Facebook. And we said, hey, everybody, two weeks from today, we're presenting Thank You Water to 7-Eleven Australia. Now we gave no history of all the journeys, but we said, for three years, we can't get into retail. And two weeks from today, we're presenting to them and we need you to come with us. Upload a video or a post onto their Facebook wall. And it was wild. It was like people did. They sung, dance, rapped, uploaded videos. Um, you know, we got a bit of critique. I think one marketing uh, publication was like, oh, you know, you know, this is ambush marketing. And I was like, oh, no, it's more pre-awareness, you know, before our pitch. And we go into that room and it was epic. We had an apology from that the CEO couldn't make it. I'm thinking that never happens. And it was an uncomfortable sort of moment because we sort of pushed ourselves a seat at the table. But we stood out and we said to them, we're not here to be annoying, but every retailer in this country has said you can't prove that people will buy it. The people are saying they will. And some predicted this is clicktivism and it won't translate into sales. But from day one in our 7-Eleven launch, we outsold Evian then Courage, then we hit between number one and number two in the fridge and we fought it out for years and we raised millions of dollars um, for our partners around the world. So that moment kind of changed everything. Hey Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.